Okay, so now we want to label the concrete footings. Okay, so in my model, I've actually given the concrete footings a name PF1 and PF2. Now, what I want to do is I want to put that label 45 degrees down the bottom. Okay, so if we said, for example, all footings should be labeled uh, 225 degrees come into here and I know for example there is no labeling strategies for concrete so in off let's create a new one ABC concrete footing two to do five degrees save and apply now again I only want uh, text only I want the text at 45 degrees. Okay. And I then want to get an existing content rule that gets close to what I need. So if I look into the, in the list here, we search up and down to see if there's any concrete. So I'm looking, grating, holes, main plot. So there's no... Uh, things here for concrete. So what we might do is create a new one and we might call this concrete um, type dash size because that's what we want. Okay. Generally you do something like this to give an example of what is required or what will be coming out. The objects that we will be selecting from will be an isolated footing. Again, if that is the case, we should probably rename this to match. So, concrete isolated footing. Pick OK, apply. That way there's no confusion. And in here, we want to come and we want to pick, first of all, uh, and I already know this, but we want to come and select the name, then dash, and then part name. So if I find part name, okay. So from here, we hit apply, and we need to set our setting of our label based on angle, and we want to set our angle to be something similar to what we did before apply but in this case we want to change it and we want to make a new one close that and we make it 225 only pick ok apply we must push this up one because we can't delete the first record you can see we can't delete record one so we push it up apply Delete the 45 and apply. Delete the same settings. We go back. So there we go. We've created our naming rule. And now we should get exactly the same scenario for all our concrete objects. Okay. And we got our rule.